Okay, a drummer wanting to earn some money decided to hire himself out as a handyman type person. So he started canvassing a wealthy neighborhood and he went to the front door of the first house and he asked the owner if he had any jobs for him to do. Well, the man said, uh, um, you can paint my porch. How much will you charge? Uh, the drummer said, oh, how, how about $50? The man agreed and, and told the drummer that the paint and the ladders that uh, he might need were in the garage. The man's wife inside the house heard the conversation and said to the husband, Does the drummer realize that the porch goes all the way around the house? The man replied, Well, he should. He was standing right on the porch. And a short time later, the drummer came to the door to collect the money. The man said, You're finished already? Yes, the drummer said, and I have paint left over. Uh, so I gave it two coats. Impressed, the man reached in his pocket for the $50. And by the way, the drummer said, it's not a porch, it's a Ferrari. Okay, it is two for Tuesday here on Stream of Unconscious, um, and uh, that's this will probably never happen again. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I uh, made a video today. Um, I went over to the college and and uh, uh, did some video of the uh, artwork that the students um, have been working on this semester, and so I thought I would share that with you all and so here is that and uh, happy two for Tuesday so we're coming up on the end of the semester here at Seward, Seward County Community College where I'm taking my painting class and uh, they've got every semester they do a student exhibition and the students come in and have a little social event and then they all the students get to vote on what they call the People's Choice Awards. Awards. So we're going to go in and take a quick scan of all of the students' works, and I'll just kind of make try to make this short. But uh, not only my paintings are in here, but I'm also teaching a photography class. So a couple of my students have their photographs up, and I'll show you those. So. Starting out with a photograph, and uh, this is one of Lynn's paintings. Lynn and I have become good friends since we have uh, interacted with one another in the painting class. As you can see, she's a very representational artist, very good too. Uh, this is uh, uh, Jacob's, uh, I believe, first semester with painting and he's doing very well. And here are a couple of my paintings. Let's see if I can get up close, show you a little bit of texture on that. I don't know. Maybe you can see. Yeah, a little bit of the texture there. That is Sundance there. And this one's titled Harvest. And when you get up close on this in the dark marks, you can't see it from the pictures but when you get up close you can see the the rich dark red colors that I've kind of mixed in with those blacks okay 
Yeah, let's see here. Um, most of these students I'm not familiar with, but I'll show you the ones that I am. Here again is Jacob. Jacob's a good, good painter. I like I like his style. Here's some drawings. And I'm thinking about taking a drawing class next semester. Uh, here is one of my photography students, Montana. And she did an exercise in ang angles with this photograph. And I think she did a pretty good job. And here again is Jacob. And again, I love Jacob's style. Jacob has a really neat style, the way he paints. Uh, this one looks very impressionist style. But it's a cityscape painting. Very nice. Moving along. Some photographs of students I'm not familiar with. And again, here's Jacob. This looks like a abstract sunflower type painting. Very well done. And uh, here's another of Montana's photographs. And uh, I believe we were doing a category of reflection and uh, she's using the magic hour to get some rich lighting I'm shaking a little bit try not to shake moving along some really good art here Gonna kind of speed it up here. We got a lot of art to cover. Here again is Jacob. And uh, some stuff here that doesn't really do much for me. Here's another Jacob. Jacob is very prolific this semester. Moving along, more of Jacob's paintings. <clears throat> this is kind of a neat photograph, I thought. Neat perspective of the tree. And this one shows showing the motion of the girl twirling the umbrella. Moving along, uh, Leanne is Lynn's sister, and she does really nice work. Okay, Jacob. Here's another Jacob painting. Another just beautiful, beautiful painting, the way he paints. Beautiful composition. Okay, moving along. And here is black and red. And uh, let me see if I can get up close and show you a little bit of texture here. Tried to use some thick paints using a wax medium. I think I'm running out of time. So let me just real quick show you this last painting of mine. Apparently, I've got a time limit. But anyway, this is score. I don't really have a whole lot of texture in here, but 
There's that. Okay. I better end the video. See you. Bye.